This is the tube that's coming in from the house. It's going to feed this box. These two channels here run out this way and break off at 45 degree angles and go straight out in the yard, eight and a half foot from each other. This is one line that comes out by itself, a 45 degree here, another 45 degree right there. And that goes straight out eight and a half feet from the one in the center, eight and a half feet from the last of the original trench that was there. So we're gonna pour water in this bucket those three lines are going to take it. That's a two and a half gallon bucket. And then there's also two five gallon buckets and a one gallon bucket. Do you want the hose? Turn the hose on. Spray it right in there. Turn that to a direct wind straight The water flows in with just the depth of where the thread begins and the head ends while well, that flow of water is going in there. Turn it off. All right. right now, there's just residual line sitting on the bottom of all three pipes. They're taking it in at a dribble. And that's exactly what it's supposed to do. The run water is already on its way and going to leach out in the field. It's in solid pipe until it gets to gravel. With, with uh, geotextile fabric underneath, gravel all around, more geotextile fabric on top. Um, that's exactly what it's supposed to do. We're going to get this covered up with uh, the lid, secure it down on the four corners, Phillips head screws. I believe they're stainless, what it's supposed to be. Phillips heads on each corner and as we cover it I'm going to try to find something that might help secure around the lid just to give the lid its support that it needs but uh, this will be fragile land as any land over a septic field would be take care of it